<laughs> Welcome to Mitch in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Mitch. Thirty minute sweat sash. It's going great. Just finished. Whew, Thirty minute cardio. Feeling great. Love it. Feeling great. Thank you to my friends for inviting me. We are off to a great start this wonderful Sunday. Now, one thing we want you guys to know is that being healthy doesn't mean you can't have treats. So right away, we're gonna be watching this guy in the kitchen making one of our family favorite desserts. Fruit pizza! Woo! Indulge indulgences are important too. They help us stay sane. And you know, who doesn't love a treat? When you're being healthy, it's okay to have the occasional, you know. Enjoy in moderation, that's it. That's right. Now we're gonna make fruit pizza. That doesn't mean we're gonna eat the whole pizza in one sitting, even though it's tempting. Well, maybe we will. I have no idea. No, no, we won't. But it, what a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to Mitch in the Kitchen. And, and I'm your host. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Mitch in the Kitchen. I'm Mitch, and today we're going to make fruit pizza. I've got my ingredients ready for making the crust. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We'll start with one and a half cups of flour. I'm going to add one third cup of icing sugar. And then I have three quarter cup of softened butter. I'm just going to mix that with the mixer. So you'll want to mix it until you've got a pretty consistent size crumbs. It'll be crumbly. And once you've got it looking like a boat like this, you'll have you'll just press it into a pizza pan. You'll just want to spread it out as evenly as you can. So once you've got your pizza crust all pressed into the pan, you're ready to put it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. So now that the crust is in the oven, we're going to start making the sauce for on top of the crust. Use one block of softened cream cheese, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a third cup of white sugar. And I'll just mix it with the mixer. So I've got the sauce ready to go. And just um, once the crust is done, you'll want to wait and let it cool before you start spreading the sauce on. Now it's just uh, getting the fruit ready to go. Um, we're going to use oranges, strawberries, and grapes. Well, I just pulled the crust out of the oven. It's got a little bit of brown around the edges. It should be good. We'll just let it cool and then we'll be ready to uh, put our spread on and then add the fruit. So now that the crust is cooled, we're ready to spread the, the sauce on. And you'll just want to spread it around evenly. If you're really good at this, it takes no time. It goes on smoothly, but. Enjoy the, enjoy the process. <laughs> I 
No cut. Yes, cut. <laughs> and then you can come and smooth it out and make it look good. <laughs> so now we're ready to start decorating the fruit pizza. I like to start around the outside and uh, just work my way into the middle and try and keep it looking same pattern all the way around. If you like how me and Benson decorated our fruit pizza, comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. Now that the pizza is decorated, we can start making the topping for it. We're going to use peach mango, uh, one cup of peach mango juice, a half cup of sugar, two tablespoons, Now this recipe has a lot of sugar in it and uh, you know, we, we try and live a healthy lifestyle but but it's okay to have indulgences. You just gotta you gotta do it in moderation. You can't just do it all the time. You can't only eat bad things. You gotta eat healthy, you gotta exercise. And, uh, yeah, but it is okay to uh, to be healthy and Enjoy. Food. Now that this is all mixed together, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it in the microwave just to save time. I'll do about a minute, and then I'll stir another minute, stir, and uh, keep that process until it thickens up and becomes relatively clear. So we've got our glaze all ready to go. It took about seven minutes in our microwave, and we stopped to stir it every. 60 seconds just to make sure it didn't get all over the microwave and make a huge mess. So now we just got to pour it onto the pizza and spread it evenly around. Now the bowl is pretty hot, that's why I got the oven mitt on. Don't want to burn yourself. So now that you've got the glaze spread all over the pizza, you just put it in the fridge to chill for a few hours, and you're ready to eat. See you guys next week on Mitch in the Kitchen. Make sure you like and subscribe. You in there, Mitch? Her could be in the cook. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>